IPCPR 2018, Andre Farkas, Viaje Cigar Company, here doing the first ever guest interview for Cigar Federation. How's it going? Just living the dream. Just living the dream. Very excited about this. I want to see where it goes. We don't know. This is different for me. I'm not used yeah. to this. Oh, the interview or I mean like life in general? Both. Both. All Both. right. I didn't know if I was supposed to talk to you or to this beautiful picture behind us of this stunning gentleman right here. That's not actually me. That's, uh, that's a, a guy that looks very similar to me that works in the fields in Nicaragua. I'm not really sure what he's, what he's doing, but uh, <laughs> uh, that's all, the best I can tell you. It wasn't my idea. I can tell you that. No, well, I think it's very flattering. It captures your likeness. Well done. Oh, thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Well, beautiful bu booth this year, huh? Yes, it's, uh, I, I can take no credit for that. Uh, Max and uh, Phil and the guys, uh, they put this together, but it really, I think, highlights uh, what we're going for now. We really want to promote... Aganorsa tobacco and, and that what's what makes it special and and I think the booth you uh, you get that I think Hel even Helen Keller understands that that's what we're promoting here and I'm sure at some point you guys will pan around and show uh, show what the bo the booth looks like but that's a great um, segue into Aganorsa leaf and your rebranding maybe you can talk a little bit about that because I think that maybe there you know with the change of course there's always going to be people with questions sure absolutely. and so maybe you can clear up a lot of what's going on right now absolutely by the way the worst part of the booth is what you're looking at here the rest is much nicer than this <laughs> no again we, we want to uh, there's th generally three different types of of companies uh, there's companies that a lot of based on cult of personality they're very associated with the owner there's companies that are lifestyle companies mm -hmm. and then there's companies that are, are more product based and, and with us what's special about us is, is the tobacco that we grow so we wanted to, to make that the highlight of the of the brand well, and the company well as someone that uses the tobacco I can definitely agree with what you're saying right now 100 percent Aganor's leave is something very, very, very special. See? Yeah, I should have you be doing this. Yeah. No, so. no, we'll come on. No, and actually our partners are, are one of the best examples of it. Yourself, uh, Dion from Illusion, Kyle from Warped, uh, Nick from Foundation. So sure. we, have a, we work with a lot of great partners, and these guys, yourself being a great example, can work with whoever you want in the industry, and you work with us because you, you appreciate what we're doing with the tobacco. Sure, so. sure. So, so talking about the rebranding, what exactly has happened? What have you done? I know that there are certain brands that you had that have been renamed, things like this. Sure, yeah. I mean, what we're basically doing, we want to have everything that we produce, it be clear that it contains Aganorsa leaf tobacco. Now, in some cases, that's more uh, pronounced than others, and then some where it'll be more subtle. But we, again, like the JFR brands, the, the Lunatic, the Guardian of the Farm, uh, the, the Casa Fernandez line, Everything uh, is a little bit separate in terms of who it appeals to, mm -hmm. but we want all of it to be linked through the tobacco itself. So whichever brand you're, you're interested in, uh, it has the, this tobacco in it. So if you enjoy one, you may enjoy another. And that's, and that's an easier way to promote so that when the person sees Aganor, so they see the, the new uh, emblem on the, uh, for, the, for the company, sure. they go, oh, well, I didn't know that they did this. I like XYZ. I'm going to try this now. I see. I see. Well, you know, talking about Aganorsa Leaf, maybe you could kind of, you know, give the viewers a little bit of insight as to what makes Aganorsa Leaf so incredible. So there's, I would say there's three, three things about uh, the tobacco that makes it special. One is that we, we have uh, seeds, Corojo 99, Corojo 98, the seeds we grow. We're not growing hybrids. Uh, Corojo 99 is the same seed that's grown in Pinar del Rio, where the best Cuban tobacco is from. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's a crucial aspect of our, our signature flavor. Uh, the Cuban agronomists, Cuban farmers we use, we have some of the top guys that work for Cuba tobacco for, for decades that work for us, and they're creating the blends in the way that they remember them from the glory days of Cuba. Sure. So that's a, a crucial factor. Yeah. And we're vertically integrated. So from seed to ash, everything we do is uh, controlled by us. And that's crucial, as you know, in the process, being able to say, Okay, we're fermenting it the way we want to ferment it. We're growing it the way we want to grow it. We're, pre we're making the cigars the way we want to make them Control. to our standards. Exactly. So That's those important. three factors uh, really are what separates us. And you can taste it. Like we, we do tasting seminars where you taste actual uh, uh, fumas, a tobacco of ours, mm -hmm. and, and you, you get the flavor and you see how what we do comes out in the product itself. Of course. And, you know, and speaking about leaf, I think there's a, it's a misconception about what exactly medio tiempo is. I know that you use it a lot. I certainly use it a lot. I love the flavor, but I don't think most people even know what it is. They think it's like a buzzword or something like that. Maybe you could talk a little bit about medio tiempo. Sure. I, uh, in terms of medio tiempo, it's the very top leaves of the plant. It's the top priming. Not every uh, plant produces it. They're they're unique looking. They're smaller leaves, and they're they're almost like alligator skin. They're very thick. Mm -hmm. um, to give you an idea, we produce fourteen thousand bales of tobacco a year. Out of that fourteen thousand, maybe fifty to eighty will be medio tiempo. So less than one wow. percent. 
Look, you tried Aganor, I guess, so I guess the appearance, wow. I don't know. I just wanted to show if, up. I'm, look at this. I'm Max Fernandez of Aganor Sleep. Incredible. You just draw, You just happened to be walking oh by? Oh, my God. This is incredible. This, uh, wow, fantastic. What is this? Puma, because I don't think Andres had enough of our tobacco. You were saying, the medio tiempo. So, so, so how, what percentage? So it's less than 1%. No, it's you know, incredible. You run right. the math. So, so that's, again, another great example of our advantages to produce that level of tobacco to be, to be able to use that in a blend. Sure. Uh, there's very few people that have that capacity. And so. how would you say it affects the blend? Again, it, it depends how you use it, but I definitely feel it adds uh, a depth and structure to the blend. Mm -hmm. It often gives it, for me, a sense that the, the, the cigar is a, has been aged longer than it really has. Even fresh, it has kind of an aged quality to the yeah. taste and flavor. Uh, and again, it, obviously, it depends how you, how you use it, but that, I would say those are the, the key aspects that, that, uh, that it, it contributes to the blend. And I know that you know, you're fairly new with Aganorsa. Yes, sir. How are you finding everything so far? Have they welcomed you into the family? Have they showed, given you the grand tour? I want to know more about your, your now integration into the company. So I know it's, uh, it's been great. I mean, really, it's been a, what, what I saw is a, is a company that had uh, amazing tobacco and that uh, not enough people knew about it. And uh, I feel that we, we've really, as a team effort, come together and really promoted that. The changes we've made in a six month period, I thought it would take a year to two years to do. So we're really amped up, we're excited. And uh, everyone's been great. And, and at the end of the day, you take a cigar and you roll it right and you do everything right. But the guy puts too much glue on the band and then the consumer rips it. Uh -huh. He goes, bad cigar. He doesn't go, oh, well, everything about this is perfect except sure. that. So everybody's got to do their job yeah. in order to, to have a successful product. And, uh, and so I think one of the greatest things is the team we have here that everybody does a great job. So, so I imagine when, when you started talking about working there, there was no hesitation. Based on the, the reputation that they have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in terms of the, t the tobacco, it was just uh, that Instant. once once I started smoking, I was like, this is this is outstanding. There's this can is. I, can I ask him a question? Sure, of course. Wait a second. I just wanted to ask. So we're known for growing tobacco in Nicaragua. Have you fallen more in love with Nicaraguan tobacco? Like, when do you realize how special Nicaraguan tobacco could be, or how it could get even better when you work with the right people, like Yai or others? I think Nicaraguan tobacco, I've always thought it was excellent. I think that our tobacco is something, I don't even like calling it tobacco, I like calling it Aganor Sleeve. I think that we specifically grow a tobacco that is, that is unique and incredible. And, uh, and, I, and I don't even like to classify it specifically as any type of country or anything else. I like to refer to it as Aganor Sleeve. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I think that um, you know, one of the very, very popular questions that get asked, gets asked, and I, I have to do it here because that's one of the reasons why we're here, is what's new sure. for Aganor Sleeve. So, uh, speaking of Medio Tiempo, this is a great uh, segue. Yeah. So we have the Aganor Sleek Signature uh, Blend. Ag Max put the cigar together. It's, it's uh, again, a great example of what we're capable of being uh, with the advantages we have as a company. It contains Medio Tiempo inside. It's uh, just really structured, beautiful flavor, beautiful uh, aroma. Again, we, like I think one of the, a, a thing that people miss out on is aroma as well, how important that is to the cigar. Sure. And uh, when you light this up immediately, you just get that, that, that uh, unique flavor and aroma from it. So it's something that I think is very special. Again, uh, I'm you know drinking the Kool-Aid, of course, so we'd like to hear from our consumer partners. I can tell you, I've smoked it myself and it's fantastic, but how many uh, sizes are we talking so about? We have, we have four sizes. Uh, we're making 500 boxes of each and, and uh, MSRP goes around nine to 10 before state taxes. But will this be an ongoing production or is it like a one and done or is it a seasonal thing? So I, th I think we'll, we'll probably look at it. We have to talk about that a little. We want to get through this and see how it, how it goes, but it, it would probably uh, be some uh, like a vintage like wine or something like that uh -huh. where we would kind of, uh, you know, keep the blend, but have it be an annual thing. Uh, you know. So you have enough material to... It's the beauty of uh, being vertically integrated. Okay, and what else is this? Is this all that's being offered here, new for the show, or is there anything else? We also have uh, something called the Anniversario uh, Perfecto. We don't make a lot of perfectos, and this one's made. We, we make cigars in Miami as well, mm -hmm. uh, small production. In, in one roller, she rolled all two thousand five hundred cigars, only two hundred fifty boxes. One roller. One roller, all by hand. Not, no, there's no Lieberman involved, so oh it's it's a uh, a bunch hand rolled by hand by this one individual. So very special, something different. It's exclusive to people that attend the show. And do you pay for her psychologist when she has a nervous breakdown, being the only roller of this particular size. Yeah, we just give her a uh, cubo rible or a drink, and that's uh, that's, that's the cheapest that's psychologist you can get. Oh you know? my goodness, fantastic! Yeah. Well, you know, switching away from uh, we covered a lot, but I know that uh, maybe people don't know at home that you have an affinity for craft beer, as do I. Yes, sir. I'm wondering here in Las Vegas, have you been anywhere? Have you had anything good? Uh, maybe you could talk about you know what beers you're drinking and. Um, 
you know, I know that you are also, um, you're, you, you love Treehouse, as do I. Yes, so maybe you can talk to some of the people about your love for craft beer and maybe some of the things that you're uh, drinking now that you like. Sure, I, I've been doing a lot of uh, hazy New England IPAs, which uh, as of I, yes. New England's got a great selection, of course. Uh, uh, Abyssal Brothers, Trillium, Treehouse are all, are all great. But now there's uh, a bunch of stuff. There's uh, Vale out in... Uh, and uh, Richmond, Virginia. There's Tired Hands in Philly, Civil Society in Florida, uh, and then the West Coast is, is doing a bunch of great stuff yes. now too. So yeah. that's been you know my, my main thing. But again, if it's good beer, it's good beer. Whether it's a sour, whether it's a stout, whether it's a porter, whatever sure. it is, if it's good, it's good. Well, my biggest problem being on the West Coast is I have no access to beers on the East Coast. So what would you say with someone like myself who has no access? How do we go about getting beers like you know to, to our area? Mules. Find a good mule. Find a good mule. I I, 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 I make a joke because he was very very nice. He got me some Treehouse, something I'd never tried before. So again, I have to thank you for that. And I think in I in turn sent you a couple of beers. You did. You did. You sent me a wonderful selection of some delicious things, and uh, none of it I'd ever tried before. So that's that's the beauty of this industry: cigars, beer. The trading, the, the camaraderie. The that's the only reason. That's the reason we're in this. That's the reason we're in this. It's fantastic. Well, lastly, how do we get in touch with you? Are there any at so and so that so that people can you know find you maybe on Instagram or? So for the for the company uh, for both Instagram and uh, Facebook, it's uh, Agonor Salif. Look us up, and then for myself, uh, Terrence uh, Agonor Salif for uh, Instagram, and then Terrence Riley for Facebook. Be happy to uh, follow and uh, shoot me any questions. I'm always at your service. Max, what do you think about this so far? What do you think? Max? How is this going? Terrence will be on Cigar Chat soon on the Cigar Fed podcast, but I'm, wow. go, I'm just excited how Terrence tells the story of what the leaf is. No, It's something special for our family, and like now the product, and it shows that. With the Aganorsa Experience seminars on the road, there's a lot of ways to experience Aganorsa that you haven't had before, so you can... Well, that's it. you want to touch on that a little bit? Because I know you are on the road quite a bit. Yeah, so again, what we want to do is people, everyone says they have the best tobacco. Everyone says that, they, you know, they do things the best. Well, we want to show people how we get our signature flavor. So uh -huh. we actually uh, do events where uh, we smoke fumas of uh, Corojo 99 and Criollo 98, and they and they they see the, the difference between those, how those t two tobaccos are very different flavors. Uh -huh. And then those two tobaccos, that, again, are incorporated into basically everything we do. So based on, you know, their preferences, we can recommend a cigar. So they actually, instead of me telling them, what it, you know, what it tastes like, and how good it is. They get to experience it themselves, wow. and individual, you know, uh, puritos, sure. and then smoke and smoke our cigars and see how those qualities interact in the blend itself. Well, so are you doing these on the road? Yes, sir. Uh, at every single stop, or well, is this something special you do for certain retailers? We, we do two versions. We do uh, training sessions for retailers. Where we'll go in and sit down with staff and yeah. do it in a simple format, and then yeah. we sometimes have uh, formal events where we sit down and do it in a, in a more uh, complex way. Wow. So then, how do how do you differentiate between the two? Like, how do you decide which one you're doing? Is it something that the retailer signs yeah, up more, for? Yeah, it's more something like some retailers, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we have, they get a bunch of people in and they have a, they have a more uh, a formalized event. Sure. And sometimes we, it doesn't take much. We bring in the Fumas, we sit down, hey, bring your staff over, let's uh, smoke some and, and uh, educate them on, on our leaf. How Thank do you, you like this? This was a, was, you think this is a good idea? Yeah, I think it worked out well. Max made an appearance, he bought, it was zany, you know, how often do you get a zany interview? Yeah, I don't no, know. I, but I think that I bring that out of people. Yeah, and so, too. yeah, so maybe this is maybe the first of many. Yeah, maybe, I, we're gonna, maybe we can contract. Long term future for. Yeah. It's a possibility. Cigars on the West Coast. Listen, you know what? I do cigars, and maybe I can also start doing some interviews. I think it's not a bad idea. Maybe I bring you out of your shell, something like that. Out of my shell, yeah. yeah I, make, I make people feel comfortable. It was like a tortoise, you yeah, know? And that's right. Now look at yeah, you. Yeah. Oh my God, it's like a butterfly. Incredible. <laughs> well, I think we've covered a lot, you know? Well, yeah, we don't want to give them too much, yeah. just enough. I think, you know, I think put a fork in us, we're done. All right. So, any, any closing words? Agonor Salif. Leave it at that. Yeah. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks, guys. See you at the next one.